Hmm, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to video from, of course, your truly, the Scarander. And, yeah, I mean, well, it's here changes not too long ago. Sadly, due to being on a Friday night for me, I wasn't able to record it, mostly because, let's face it, it was freaking Friday. So, <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. But, I gave him some initial thoughts on Twitter for those who follow. If you don't, if you don't, it doesn't. Here they are. Um... The tier change this time was not that big, which is good actually. A lot of expected things did happen, and a few really cool things happened. And yeah, we're gonna talk about the mods initially, and basically my thoughts, and yeah, what I hope to see with that in mind. Um, like I said, not too big this time, which is good, um, because there's really not a whole lot that could possibly happen outside of uh, the Beal Bass, which could be due to the Mega. Pokemon introduced initial tier B um, unchanged or, or changed basically, but uh, that's pro that process kind of starts now. Once uh, I think the most of the tier Pokemon has landed. So anyway, without further ado, let's talk about the first model, of course, being Hoopa, who moved from UU to RU. I actually talked about this really early when Hoopa was introduced. And I thought it was gonna be a really low mom due to its weakness, uh, four times weakness to both Knockout for Dark and Ghost. But Hoopa has proven me wrong for quite a long time. Hoopa is really strong, and when I say that, I mean really, really, really strong. Uh, 150 base in special attack is actually really dangerous, and it has a really broad move pool. So I think it do really good in RU. I don't think it did initially that bad in UU. In, if anything, I use it quite well myself, and uh, it hurts. And if your team can adjust to it, then it's going to be really, really dangerous. Now, Hoopam is gonna do, like I said, a bit well in RU due to initial tier, but a bit slower. And I wanna see what people do with it. AD base is actually quite respectable if you go for Scarf. Um, and also, of course, it works well in Trick Room Team. So, I have no doubt that this thing is gonna do well. Maybe a bit too well, even. Uh, and the next change is Ampharos from NU to PU. I am actually really surprised that Ampharos did not do as well as initially thought on in NU. Uh, it is a slow electric mon, and you know, it comes with issues, it really does. Uh, Ampharos is not too bad, but probably is struggling, and uh, PU should be a very good tier for it. It's broken enough to pull that off, and of course with like of statics and um, Magnet Flux, it should do even better. And um, yeah, nothing really big to it. Um, the top threats, of course, in uh, um, sorry, in PU are basically Floatzel, and um, Ampharos can definitely deal with that, so yeah, I really want to see what happens next with that one, I really do. Um, the next change is Alakazam from OU to UU. Now, I do believe Alakazam moved to OU actually in X and Y, never really dropped after that, so seeing it falling back in UU, while scary, um, it just to some extent makes sense. Um, I will say this, the reason I said moved up in the first place was because it just hurt so much. I actually read a few threads before, before it actually got moved to OU, and um, a lot of us were that, you know, it's hard to switch in on a Psychic uh, due to be a Lifer boost, and it's really fast, 130 base speed, yeah, it's gonna hurt. And um, <clears throat> I really don't know how this will affect the meta, like I said, it hasn't been in a matchup with the Auras uh, Megas in... Um, Sorry, in um, in damn it, as a meta or as mega in UU obviously, so it might actually do well and might not. Uh, but my thought is that it really, really will do well, probably too well. But yeah, nothing real to it. It's gonna be a mod that's gonna destroy the tier. Um, a lot of defensive mod are now gonna be back down. Um, next change is Crogonal for NUPU, and like I say, meh, obviously. Um, I do believe Cryogonal got moved down, basically because it serves like a middle ground purpose in both tiers. It does well in NU, but you know other mods that does that does well too. Breeze Rise, really good move overall. So um, I'm guessing that's the main part of Cryogonal. It kind of tackles the mod that are defensive in the NU, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a middle ground, Mo most like Pelipper really. It's it works well. It just doesn't work all that well all the time. So it's very matchup dependent, but Crogonal is by no means a bad Pokemon. So I'll could see it move up to NU again. It definitely is a good one in PU if anything. And uh, next change is Omastar actually from RU to NU. And Omastar was actually NU 
I do believe in the beginning of X and Y once the tears was set, but then it got moved to RU, and I think Cabotops got moved from RU to NU too. Um, so they switched with between each other. I do believe almost always NU to RU, and Cabotops fell down down the opposite. Uh, almost or it's not bad. Uh, Stealth Rocker, Shell Smasher, you know, all that jazz related. It's not too complex, but what it does, it does well, so won't really go too far with it. Most people know how to use it, and I hate facing it. And it does well in RU, it's no doubt about it. And it will do even better in NU, of course, because of that in mind. And next change is Barbarical, and pretty much for the same reason. It went from BL4, which would be bad in PU, to being in the part of NU. Which is good, because it's a good NU Pokemon. Now, obviously, it's a more of a, a I guess, physical response, so almost sort of kind of the same way. And uh, yeah, enough to it. Tough flaws, really, really dangerous. And Barbarical are hurts a lot, so yeah, it should do well. It, nothing to it. It's it has it's a BL4 for a reason, and part of the NU is what it should be. And next one is Priplup from NU to PU. Same thing there as Cryogonal, really. And um, it serves a purpose. It's a good purpose to serve. But it, it is kind of the middle ground. It does definitely well, or better in PU than it does in NU. It doesn't mean that it's bad, it just means that it just isn't that good all the time. And next change, Charizard from RU to NU. Very expected. Um, I'm glad to see Charizard in NU, because it does kind of need another speedy farm on this tier, so that makes sense. Uh, definitely can rival Pyro to some extent. Being, of course, that actually resists fighting, which is a dangerous typing in, uh, um, sorry, <laughs> in a new, of course, being Sork and all, really. And, of course, Mesprit and stuff like that can do a number on a lot of teams, so I think Charizard could help. Um, it is still Rock Week, which is one of its, um, the reasons there in the first place, honestly, because it's a fast mod. It is uh, just as fast as Typhlosion, I believe, so I really want to see how it does there, but, um, I have no doubt it's gonna stay in NU, but it's gonna be a good NU mod, good special attack, good speed, decent um, attack if you wanna use the Billy Drum set and Dragon Dance, and um, Bit Brittle uh, has access to roof, so you can work around that. But yeah, Speedy Fire Mod that could do a lot of things, always nice. So the last change is Mega Gyro's been allowed now in UU, which I will say, shit. <laughs> Obviously, though, uh, Mega Gyarados is not necessarily better than regular Gyarados, but you know the combination is there and it is dangerous and it could do well. And um, it usually only serves one role, being of course being a Dragon Dancer and losing the flying type in his butt of you know blessing and a curse, be of course weak to fighting after that change. But yeah, and of course Fairy too, which is just splendid. Mega Gyarados is gonna have a really good time with that mod, but. Um, yeah, we can't really go too big with it, like I said, I do believe regular Gyarados are just as good as Mega, so it's up to see basically what happens. But Mega Gyarados could be, due to its extra power, be even more dangerous to uh, the potential meta. And I hope to see a lot of more fighting mods. Mian Shao is going to be well, or doing well against it, but also it's the same thing there. If there isn't a Mega, Mian Shao is going to do poorly against Gyarados, and that kind of falls the same way with my Chomp and stuff like that. So, that's something that could be troublesome. Like I said, kind of the flying Mega, um, or the flying and the darkness, you know, uh, contradict each other. It is actually fairly dangerous, it kind of is. Uh, I do believe Jarvis can do well against Elegant Sam at least, but that's about it. I really want to see what happens to this tier, and that's probably the biggest chance to get it with Hoopa of the mods that are not only dangerous, but potentially broken for the tier, but, you know, that's up to see. We, they haven't been tested yet, so it's easy for me to say that they are too powerful, but who knows? I mean, I said that Hoopa was possibly a bit too powerful for UU, and it keep falling, so I've been wrong before, and you know, I'll probably keep doing that anyway. Uh, but that's my initial thoughts, guys. You know, nothing big to it. I really want to hear what you guys think. Um, do you think that these tier are, or these tier changes are great? Do you want to see something else? And yeah, do you want to see, like me, you know, what happened to Conklin or Sylveon? They're still so close of dropping, but still no drops. I hope the bigger change are in Mars, actually. So, I hope to see something there at least. But yeah, like I said, I want to thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.